Okay, that's cool. Um, now the third blog that we were going to work on was about goal setting, because you said okay. some really good things in your last comments to me for your first blog about why that whole meeting, that whole mastermind weekend that you had was so important, because it was primarily about goal setting. And goal setting is something that means a lot to you. So um, tell me about, for you, why goal setting is important and how you discovered, how it really resonated for you personally that it was important. That's a good question. Um, so it's interesting because I'm a very spiritual person too. Yeah. And so I'm very much like, you know, God take the wheel, like, sure. just put, put me in a direction, let me fulfill your will, not mine, <laughs> which is interesting because when you set goals, like, you feel like goals are very much fulfilling your will, right? Like, this is what I want to accomplish. So I think the key there for me is very much being like, all right, this is what, this is what I'm striving for, this is where I'm going, but I'm also okay with, with that changing, yeah. should it be God's will. Uh -huh. um, so kind of focusing on that now, for me, I think a lot of people just don't even think big enough. <laughs> They're, um, he, well, I'll give you, a, I'll give you an example of something that happened. Okay. In the very, very first vlog of, and it's nsforl.tv, mm -hmm. episode one. Mm -hmm. In that episode, like we're filming, and I go. The owner of this building doesn't know this yet, but I'm gonna buy this building. <laughs> okay. okay. So like, I had already, like I spoke it out into the universe, right? I put it out there, like this is what this is what I want. This is what I'm gonna strive after, and then from there, my desire to own that piece of property was so strong that I don't know if anything could have stopped me. Yeah. Um, I just, I believe that because that goal was so big and so ambitious mm -hmm. that I naturally and subconsciously in a lot of ways mm -hmm. took the steps necessary mm -hmm. to make it happen. Yeah. Because when you like, okay, like this is my major goal. All right, what am I doing to make that? I'm constantly asking myself, what am I doing to make that happen? Mm -hmm. What am I doing to make that happen? And if the answer is nothing, then then I need to start taking more action. That's the problem is that, you know, you hear the, there's like a quote out there that goals are dreams yeah. without action. Right. Right, and that's, that's exactly right. Now, what I've realized about myself is that I very often, or at least like for this year, for example, I have more than one goal. Yeah. I have like 10 goals. Yeah. And so it's super hard, like when I have a major goal, if I have a major goal, and that's the one thing that I'm trying to accomplish, then I can just work backwards from that all the time. But when I have 10, uh -huh. then there's a lot to keep track of, right? Yeah. So, and I'll show you what I'm doing actually. It'll probably bring some context. So remember from that episode uh, that you watched with yeah. Alex? Yeah, yeah. So Alex turned me on to this this little, it's a goals book. It's called okay. Living, Living Your Best Year Ever. Okay, yeah. A Proven System for Achieving Big Goals by Darren Hardy, who is the publisher of Success Magazine. Okay. Okay, so in this, this is, this literally takes you week by week, uh -huh. by week, uh -huh. for all of the weeks of the year. Uh -huh. And so like last night, for example, I was filling this out week eight. And, and really laying out everything. So it lays out your banner goals for the year. Mm -hmm. So these are like the top three goals, the top three big things that I'm trying to accomplish this year. Yeah. And then And then you break it down from there. Top three goals of the month, top three goals for the week, and then the, the three most important events of that of this week yeah. that are gonna help me accomplish these goals, right? Uh -huh. And then it breaks it down into daily behaviors and actions that help me accomplish these goals. Everything from like behavior and action, waking up at 4.30 a.m. Okay. Right, that's a behavior and action that's going to help me accomplish that goal. Mm -hmm. or, or these weekly goals, which are gonna help me accomplish the monthly goals, which are gonna ha help me accomplish my banner goals. And, and they can be anything you want. Like, as long as they're relevant to helping you accomplish the goals. I mean, for me, like I even have like meditation and prayer on there. I have 30 minutes of cardio. 
I'm drinking my water jug, this, this baby, right? <laughs> you know, like these are, you know, quality time with the kids. You know, 30 minutes of personal development, executing content for my personal brand. Like yeah. these are all just behaviors and actions that I'm taking throughout my day. And I like checking them and I, and I set goals. I'm not able, you know, for example, waking up at 4.30 a.m., my goal is to do that five times this week. Yeah. So it's not necessarily all seven days, but it's, you know, I'm trying to do that. I'm trying to get my body in the habit of doing that. Sure. Um, so I just believe that you have to work backwards from the main goals, right? And and create an execution strategy. And this is this book is great because it's helping me make sure that I accomplish all of my goals and then and not just the big one that big desire owning a property like something like that like I know that I can have that desire and just go after that one yeah. but this helps me with all of them by breaking them down into steps okay you know I imagine it also helps you prioritize and like oh this thing I could kind of set aside this thing needs to happen now that sort of stuff exactly right yeah so how do you get us um, how do you prioritize your goals how do you decide what's important and what's not on any given day <laughs> um, I set out with a plan, but again, I'm flexible knowing that that plan is probably going to change a hundred times in that day. You know, everything that I have is a priority right now. None of it becomes a priority if I get the phone call that my shop is on fire. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, so like yeah. we have to be okay with that. We have to be flexible. Yeah. Um, actually, Alex Willis taught me, he's like calling, he's like the, the times of the day that we can plan for are before 8 a.m. and after 8 p.m. <laughs> Everything in between is chaos. Yes. And we just have to be okay with that. Now we can, again, set the plan and move in that direction. But you just have to be flexible and just know that the priorities can change. Um, but you know, by breaking it down throughout the course of the week, this has really helped me make sure that I circle back around to things that were priority today that had to get shifted till tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. So, like for you, like how could you tell if a goal is something that's really worth pursuing? I mean, have you ever kind of put something? Yeah, I really need to do this, and you thought, yeah. Yeah. Well, there's a big difference between goals and tasks, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, a goal is something monumental that I want to accomplish. A major life goal of, me, of mine is to have my face on the cover of Inc. Magazine, yeah. Entrepreneur Magazine, wow. Success Magazine, some, sure. some major publication. Uh -huh. um, that's one of my life goals. Mm -hmm. One of my life goals is to profit a million dollars. Like, in fact, I don't even think that's, I mean, and it's not about the money as much as it is just striving to accomplish something really big. Yeah. My, one of my goals is to give away a million dollars. So, um, you know, just, just having that to strive for. It's funny because now I listen, like I have, I've had these life goals mm -hmm. up on my mirror inside of my bathroom. Uh -huh. And I like look at them now and I question whether or not they're big enough. Oh. I really do. And so it's it's interesting that the more experience I gain mm -hmm. and the more the more stuff like this I do, I'm like I'm like, wow, I'm not I'm actually setting the bar too low. Ooh. And so I'm really striving now to get myself to think even bigger. Yeah, so do you think that's pretty good advice in general, just try to think bigger? Yeah, but at the same time, you have to, like, there's no goal worth having unless you're going to start executing in that direction. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the biggest problem is everybody goes, oh, I want to, like, buy an island. Yeah. <laughs> or I, I want to have $10 million in the bank. Or I want to, yeah, I mean, that's great. Mm -hmm. Or you know, I want to. I want to start a start a nonprofit and change the world. I want to like. I mean, whatever. It's great. Like, I go okay. But the problem is that there's a very, very, very small percentage of us that actually execute on anything. And why do you think that is? Um. Why do I? I just think, I think there's people like myself that are just driven 
Yeah. Like we, we are driven by our impacts. Like we do want to change the world. We do want to make a difference in people's lives. And I'm motivated when my feet hit the floor every morning and there's people that aren't. Um, I think a lot of it might even have to do with the way people were raised as children. Like, I don't know the psychological aspects of it, but my parents, like, they made me, they instilled that confidence in me. Like, hey, you can do this. Like, if you set your mind to it, like, go out and do it. I'm just naturally driven. I don't need people to pump me up or motivate me. Um, and I think that has a lot to do with it. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's kind of cool. Um, how would you encourage somebody who might not be so naturally pumped up? I know you're oh, yeah. we're good. You something else to go into. No, we're yeah. good. I'm just All double right. checking. Yeah. So how would you um, motivate somebody who isn't quite so pumped up but is almost pumped up? Partially inflated, as it were. Hopefully they watch my videos and get, and get inspired and like, all right, I'm going to take action. You know, it's funny because I actually had somebody send me a screenshot of their home, their lock screen on their phone. Uh -huh. They sent that to me yesterday and it was a, an Instagram post that I wrote like a week ago and they're like, hey, I just want to let you know that I've had this as my lock screen because it's re like it's really motivating me. It's inspiring me. And, and so hopefully like I can just continue to put out video, to put out blogs, to put out these different things that will just inspire people to take some action. I think that's what we do as leaders. We have to inspire people to take action. Yeah. Um, and I try to surround myself with with talented people who do, who have major things that they want to accomplish and I hope that I can just push them to get there.